What's up, y'all? I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This is your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, y'all. Before I get going on our video, y'all smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, share the video, turn on your notifications, and go follow me on Twitter at KOBoxing86 TV. And if you got a breakdown or a prediction you want me to do, Knockout Boxing 86 at yahoo.com is the email address. Also, if you got um, check out our live shows, please. We go live every Wednesday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. That's where we discuss the hottest topic in boxing. Um, we also go live on Friday nights at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. That's where I break down and predict all the upcoming fights for that weekend. And then I also go live every Sunday morning, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time um, with the singing OG KQKC Boxing Network. We're live every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. together, so y'all be sure to check out that show. And that's where we break down all the action. Uh, from that weekend, but let's get let's get it popping, man. Um, Dillian White and Tyson Fury, man. It's a lot going on. It's been a lot of news being reported. We want to break it all down and talk to y'all about it because I haven't made a video on this yet. So, for those y'all that don't know, I'm sure a lot of you do by now. Tyson Fury and Dillian White, their first bid um, was won by Tyson Fury's um, UK promoter Frank Warren, and it was a 40, 41, 42 million dollar purse bid. Um, and they're going to possibly fight over in the UK, and then they're going to have it on pay-per-view right here um, at ESPN. And so Bob Arum's done some talking. Um, Dillian Whiteside has done some talking. Um, but but here's what we have. So $31 million is what Tyson Fury will be making, and then about $8.25 million or something like that is what Dillian White will be making. And reports are saying that he's still unhappy with the bread, bro. And I got a shit on Dillian White because... Listen, dog, if you if you believe you can win and you're making the most money that you ever made, there's no reason for you to turn down this fight. So it's looking like as reports are coming out today that the fight is going to be a go. They're going to fight sometime in April. Right now they're targeting April 23rd. So um, that's good news. And um, it's just it's just what should happen in this instance. You know what I mean? Looks like Usyk and Joshua are going to fight. So Fury should have to fight his mandatory who was dealing in white. And um and Dillian White shouldn't be causing up a ruckus. Forget the 80-20 purse split or worrying about how much money um Tyson Fury is getting. Um you on the other hand, you worry about your bread and your bread, you get more than you've ever made. The most he had made up to this point was about half of that. He made like four point two million or something like that for um for Pavekin in his last fight with Pavekin, and now he's almost doubling that. He's getting about a hundred percent pay increase. So he need to just shut up and, and show up ready to, to, to beat Tyson Fury ass. That's what he should be focused on because if he win the fight, if he win the fight, um, then, you know, they'll have to do a rematch probably and he'll get even more money in the rematch. So you set yourself up by winning. I always tell people that you chase your legacy, the bread will come. If you chase your legacy in this boxing shit and you're going to make the best possible fights you can make and you go beat the best, your money going to come to you, bro. You ain't got to chase the bag like that. The bag going to come to you in this boxing shit. And in any af you know, any af athletics, any sport, all the money comes with winning, bro, because people love winners. So you win and you beat people um, at the highest level, shit, you're going to make money. But um, Bob Aram said some interesting things, too, that I want to talk about, man. He said that um, Dillian White poses a bigger threat to Tyson Fury than Deontay Wilder did. And I'm not breaking down or predicting the fight yet. Here's a couple of facts, right? These are facts that cannot be disputed. Here's a couple of facts. Fact number one, Deontay Wilder's right hand, his right hand, is a harder punch than any punch that Dillian White has ever thrown in his life. Right? Yes, Dillian White has power. He does. I ain't saying he don't have power. But Deontay Wilder's right hand is a harder punch than any punch that Dillian White has ever thrown in his life or that he could ever throw in a fight against Tyson Fury. That's a fact. So, due to that fact, I'm of the mindset that Tyson Fury be able to take Dillian White's power just fine. Fact number two, Dillian White has been put to sleep 
and beat up on more than one occasion. That's a fact. Pavekin knocked his ass out. Anthony Joshua knocked his ass out. And when Pavekin did it, Pavekin was on the other side of 40. Okay? Fact number three. Tyson Fury. Regardless of it, because I don't like him. Y'all know I don't like Tyson Fury. I can't stand his lying ass, bro. I can't stand his lying, cheating ass at all. But here's the fact, bro. Tyson Fury is better and more tested than anybody Dillian White has ever been in the ring with. Boy, what about Anthony Joshua, bro? We see what Anthony Joshua is. And how many of y'all believe Andrew Ruiz would ever beat Tyson Fury, bro? Good night, bad night, indifferent. Tyson Fury just a savage. He's just a dog, bro. He just, he can take he can take a shot. He big as shit. Okay, like bro. Listen. To me, I don't think it's close. But I think Deontay Wilder was the bigger threat because he's he had the dynamite in his right hand and he put Fury down on multiple occasions with that shit. Dealing and he had never been put to sleep. Fury stopped him, but he got stopped on his feet still swinging in their second fight. Fury stopped him in the third fight, but he was moving forward and swinging. And listen, like this is, I don't want to politicize this shit. And I ain't going to go too deep into it. But you got one fighter. And Dillian White, like we talking about heart. We talking about mental makeup, right? I think he mentally weak and he fragile and he ain't got no heart. Straight up and down. Here's why I say that. These is facts. Somebody let me know if I'm not talking a fact here. Because I ain't going to politicize it or make it about race. Because that ain't what I do on this channel. But I'm just going to give you a fact. Fact number one. Dillian White sat right next to Barry Hearn. When Barry Hearn said all that shit about slave contracts. And Dillian White's response was laughter. That was his response. He laughed it off. Deontay Wilder had Radio Raheem or somebody ask him about, you know, social injustice, all that shit. And he stands 10 toes down and he's much more heartful. He's much more of a proud man. He's much more like, you ain't going to just say that shit in front of him and not get a response. You may think that means nothing, but to me, in the fight game, your heart and your mentality, that means everything. Like, you ain't just going to roll over Deontay Wilder. You're going to have to damn near kill him in the ring. This man firing people for stopping fights that he was clear like, bro, he 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 built different. Dillian White is soft, bro. Soft as tissue paper, dog. He ain't got the he ain't got the mental fortitude, he ain't got the heart, bro, to be dealing with nobody like Tyson Fury. The fact that he let Barry Hearn get that shit off on him, y'all might think I'm crazy, but the fact that he let Barry Hearn get that shit off on him, bro, he ain't got no smoke for Tyson Fury like that. So I think by far the bigger threat was Deontay Wilder. Point blank period. Now, Tyson Fury, he beat Deontay Wilder twice. Beat him twice. Second fight, you know. Third fight. First fight, maybe we wouldn't be having this conversation if the ref didn't count. Um, you know, extremely, if the count wasn't extremely slow. But at the end of the day, it's a 10 count, not 10 seconds. So, whatever reason you want to think, you know, ref looking over here, ref looking over there. If you think it was real, whatever the case may be. It's a 10 count. He didn't get the 10. Tyson Fury got up. That fight ended up being a draw. And then Deontay Wilder had two more bites at the apple in the second and third fight. And Tyson Fury bested him. Tyson Fury, on the other hand, I mean, Dillian White, on the other hand, he just, it's just something about him. It's just something about him that, that leads me to believe he ain't, he ain't going to be willing to walk through the fire like that. He's not. So uh, overall, what, what, what Bob Aaron was saying, I disagree with it. But hey, I'm not mad at him for saying it because this is the fight you got now for your fighter. And so you got to, you know, people like, oh, Bob Aaron, full of shit. He lying. Like, I, I mean, he promoting. He promoting. Like, what are he supposed to say? You got Tyson Fury about to fight Dillian White. Why would he, what business sense does it make for him to say, look, man, you know, nah, Deontay Wilder was a tougher fight. But you ain't finna fight Deontay White. You finna fight Dillian White. So you got to talk him up. Make it seem difficult. All that shit. So I'm not mad at the comments. I just think that if you had a, a lot of text to test on Bob Aaron or you asking what he really think, 
behind closed doors, he'd probably tell you this is an easier fight for Tyson Fury on paper. Probably He'd probably tell you that shit. Um, last thing I want to discuss, 500,000 pay-per-view buys here in America. I doubt it. I doubt it. This fight going to be very big. That's what Bob Abrams said. He said they're going to sell, he, he thinks that they'll sell 500,000 pay-per-view buys here in America for this, um, for this card or for this fight. And I doubt it, man. Like, Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder, they was magic together. You know what I'm saying? All that controversy, all that shit, like, that sold the fight. People was interested in it. All them fans that bought the fight because they were rooting for Deontay Wilder, they ain't going to be buying this fight, bro. I'm just telling you, like, it ain't no shade, but they ain't buying that shit, you know? They was buying that shit for, for Deontay Wilder. And he performed before Tyson Fury. He performed with Tyson Fury in terms of revenue generator, and he'll probably have, you know, uh, more big fights if he continues to fight, you know, throughout his career. If he keeps fighting, I'm sure he'll do more good pay-per-view numbers. Dillian White... He ain't popping like that. He ain't a good dance partner for Tyson Fury. And it's going to be broadcast in the UK. So it'll more than likely be in the afternoon here in the USA. On like a Saturday afternoon or some shit. Because they want to do it during prime time in the UK. So the time it'll be off. People ain't sitting around their house, you know, 2, 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m. On a Saturday trying to watch a boxing match for the most part. That's just what it is. So I disagree with that, but we'll see. No shade. If they do it, they do it. I don't care. I know I'm going to watch the fight and buy it. Because I love boxing. But it, to touch the casual fan base, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. But overall, man, I'm glad that, that Dylan White is getting this shot, even though I can't stand him. I'm glad he's getting this shot. He deserves it. He's a mandatory. Okay, cool. Usa Joshua, we need a date on y'all. And then we can get the two, two, the two winners to fight each other. The two winners should fight each other, and then we get to see who the king of this, this current heavyweight division is. And then now we start breaking it up. People start retiring. Then you got... Hergovich, jo Joe Joyce, Jerry Big Baby Anderson, Daniel Dubois, Stephen Big Shot Shaw, um, you know, uh, Yoka, um, you know, a lot of Parker will probably still be in the mix because he's younger than some of these guys that are at the top right now. So, you know, it, it, let, let's let's get this shit over with. Let's get 2022 over with. Get, get an undisputed champion. And then let's get to the next, bro. Let's get to the next crop, see what they can do. But that's all I got. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Comment down below. Smash the like. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video. Turn on your notifications. Go follow me on Twitter as well. At KOBoxing86TV. If you got a breakdown or a prediction you want me to do, knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com is the email address. I appreciate everybody tuning in and watching the video. Enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, we out of here. Peace, y'all.